Here's another really important part of our mixing process and something that using Pro Tools for our podcast mixes really helps us to add that sonic quality to our final mix. It's called the master bus or the mix bus, either is fine. This is the final channel of audio that all of our audio goes through and allows us to control the mix as a whole. In this step, I'll be showing you some of the tools I use and how I use them to get the best of our mix before we export our final audio. So let's open up the mix window. So we'll see our master channel on the right hand side, that dark red channel. That's the same master fader that we set up at the very beginning of the class where we were creating tracks. And this channel is where all of our different buses, whether that be dialogue, music, sound effects, or anything else, is going through and is then brought together in one stereo channel, which we can use to mix all of our assets as a whole. What we want to do from here is probably find the most dynamic and loudest part of the mix, which will be at the end where we have the music playing and our final outro. And so we'll use this as a reference for the most dynamic part of our mix and our levels when it comes to loudness and overall tone. So we're in the mix window now and there's a few different plugins as you can see here in the master bus. Now the difference with the master bus is these faders on a normal channels, they change the overall volume of what comes out of that channel. The thing with the master bus is when we increase or decrease the level of that fader, it actually affects what goes into our very first plugin here, rather than changing the final volume of our sequence. So it's really important to make sure that from a start, our loudness level is pretty much where we want it. So let's just open up Yulin Loudness Meter now to check our overall loudness. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is for everyone. It's not a title. It's a mindset. It's a quality. It's not a position. So we can see here that we're averaging around that minus 16 luffs, which is great for podcast loudness. And what we've got going into our master bus here is a few different elements which help to really tighten things up and make sure our levels hit where we want them to. First up, I use a Waves SSL bus compressor. And this is really nice for gluing things together and using a little bit of gain reduction just to tighten things up and catch those extra peaks here and there. So I'll play that back and you can see what that's doing. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is two or three up to four maximum dBs of compression, but with a really slow attack and auto release and only being compressed at around two to one ratio. So that's really transparent, but just helps to catch those extra peaks. Then I'm going to add in Massey Tape Head, which is perfect to add a bit of tape saturation and that warmth that we want to some digital recordings. I've got all the parameters set to zero here, so it's not adding any real distortion, it's just adding a few harmonics here and there, which just warms things up. But let's listen to the mix without, and then I'll engage the plugin, and you can hear what that's doing to the mix. We'll bypass here and play. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is for everyone. It's not a title. It's a mindset, it's a quality, it's not a position. So hopefully you gain. So that's just adding a little bit of saturation, which just helps to warm things up really nicely. Let's have a look at it, the EQ. And I really like the Puritech just to add a little bit of lows and highs if we need that and give that nice smile EQ effect that we're also used to now. So as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of air here around 12 kilohertz and with quite a big boost, which normally on most EQ plugins would be really drastic. But what's great about the Puritech is just really transparent, especially in the highs. And also adding a boost here on the 100 hertz. To be perfectly honest, anything above 10 or 12K, we've rolled off on a lot of the dialogue anyway. It's so subtle, but it just really helps to add a little bit of shine to our mix without feeling too harsh. Let's bypass that and play it back again as before. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is for everyone. It's not a title. It's a mindset. It's a quality. It's not a position. So hopefully you gain some inspiration and hopefully you'll tune in for future pods. That adds a nice amount of shine to our mix without being too much. Now that we've gone through, we've added a little bit of highs, we've added a little bit more lows, we've added some saturation, we've compressed things, our levels are going to change a little bit. So we want to make sure that we're not clipping anything here. Always have some safety limiting at the very back end of my chain. Again, using the Massey range, the mastering limiter is perfect here. I have the threshold set to zero and you'll see if I play it back, nothing's coming through. But if there is anything that starts to peak, then it catches it and flattens that out for me. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is for everyone. It's not a title. It's a mindset. It's a quality. It's not a position. So hopefully you gain some inspiration. What's quite cool here is also you can see any game reduction that's actually happening on the SSL. You can see it here. So if we're getting past that slight and subtle game reduction that we want, it's really visual and a great help to make sure that we're not over compressing things. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is for everyone. Now that we've gone through and added in the EQ, added in a bit of a compression and a final bit of saturation, let's just 
take another look at our loudness meter. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership... Okay, so everything's clearly louder than we had it before. So what we're going to do is open up our final limiter and then just change our output to pull it back down a couple of dB. And if we want to keep that open whilst we open up the Ulean meter, we just hold shift and click on that, and then we'll have both plugins open at the same time. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is for everyone. It's not a title. So we've reduced things by nearly 3 dB. Let's play that back from the start. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone that leadership is for everyone. It's not a title. It's a mindset. And we'll go again. Thanks so much for being my guest today. And I just want to remind everyone. Cool. So that's pretty much at the level we want. So if we were to upload this to any of our podcast platforms now, then it's pretty likely that this is exactly what we'll hear on those platforms. If we did ramp up the loudness a lot more, then it's very likely that those platforms are out their own compression and things will start to sound bad. So let's just leave that there, averaging it around minus 16 LUFs. And in the next step, we'll have a look at exporting and getting our files ready for the platforms.